This video goes over the review for the quiz on 6.1 to 6.3. Number one has nine sides. This is a polygon. We call this a nonagon. Number two is not a polygon. Polygons are formed from straight lines. Number three is also not a polygon. They must be closed, so there would have to be another line like this, and there is not. For number four, for a polygon to be regular, it must both be equiangular and equilateral. A triangle is the only one where if it's equiangular, it has to be equilateral. Number five is irregular because this down here is not the same length as all the other sides, and it's concave because one of the diagonals exists outside of the shape, or this here caves in. Number six is both regular and convex, and seven is irregular and convex. For 8, the interior angle measures you find using the formula n minus 2 times 180. So if we plug in 14 and we multiply that by 180, we get 2,160. For number 9, we're going to use the n minus 2 times 180 formula to figure out the sum of the interior angles. Since there are 6 sides, we plug in a 6. 4 times 180 gives us 720. So we add together all of these different angles and the sum is 720. So 24A is equal to 720, so A is 30. And they want to find the measure of each interior angle. So if we plug 30 in, 2A becomes 60, 5A becomes 150, 4A becomes 120, 150 again, 90, and 150. For number 10, we're looking at the exterior angle. So unlike the interior, where we use n minus 2 times 180, the sum of the exterior angles is always going to be 360, regardless of the number of sides. So we set up our equation by adding together all the respective angles and setting them equal to 360. So 15n is 360, or n is 24. In number 11, to figure out angle L, we're going to take L and K and add them together and set it equal to 180. So when we combine those, we get 1.5x equals 189, or x is equal to 126. So if we plug that into L, which is x minus 9, we end up with 117. Then to figure out the measure of angle K, we're going to take 180 minus 117. And this will give us 63 degrees. The next four problems use this parallelogram. And because the diagonals bisect each other, n plus 7 is equal to 3n. And if we solve for this, we figure out that n is equal to 3.5, which we can use to plug in for n in these various locations. So for vx, if we plug in 3.5 for n in each spot, the sum is 21. And for xz, if we multiply 3.5 times 3, we get 10.5. zw is the same thing as zy, so we can plug in 3.5 into this equation, and we get 15. We double that for wy, and we get 30. For 17, we substitute in for x and y with the given values, and we can conclude that this is a parallelogram based on one of two conditions. First, that both opposite angles are congruent, or secondly, that an angle is supplementary with both adjacent angles. But just the first one would have been fine. So 18 is not a, par a parallelogram. The reason being is that both of the diagonals do not bisect each other. This diagonal is bisected, but this one is not. 19, not a parallelogram. These would have to match up to use the rule that diagonals must bisect each other, or if they do, the whole thing's a parallelogram. Number 20 is a little bit tricky. If we recognize that because this diagonal is a transversal, a line that crosses two parallel lines. The opposite interior angles are congruent, so angle 1 and 2 are equal, and 3 and 4 are vertical angles. And this, is a lot, this allows us to set up a triangle congruency shortcut based on side angle angle. And if both of these triangles are congruent, then the other diagonal is going to be bisected also. So therefore, these must be a parallelogram because all of the, both diagonals bisect each other. For 21, we can add together these two angles to see if they are supplementary. 
and the x's cancel each other out, so we're left with 180 equals 180, and they are supplementary. The condition to prove that this is a parallelogram, though, is that one of the angles has to be supplementary with both adjacent angles. So if the x was over here, this would work. But since it's across the way and not adjacent, we can't conclude that this is a parallelogram. It could be, but we don't know for certain.